Good morning. Syria's foreign minister says that diplomatic ties between his country and Britain could help to secure the freedom of British hostages held in the Lebanon. Farouk al shara says that those holding the hostages may take efforts to free them more seriously if ties existed between Damascus and London. Three British hostages, Terry Waite, Jack Mann and John McCarthy, are held in Lebanon by pro-Iranian Shiite Muslim militias. The Foreign Secretary Douglas Hurd has come close to accusing a senior Israeli politician of lying over Mr Hurd's views on Palestine. Palestinian leaders boycotted a meeting with Mr Hurd after the politician told the media the Foreign Secretary had said he was against a separate Palestine. Mr Hurd claims he's been misquoted, but his peace mission to Israel has turned into a major diplomatic row. The inquiry into the Lockerbie disaster has been told that two of the passengers may have been alive for a short time after the plane crashed. A pathologist said there was a slim chance that they would have lived if immediate resuscitation had been available and if there had been a hospital nearby. Shipbuilding on Merseyside could soon come to an end after more than 150 years if a buyer can't be found for the camel-led shipyard at Birkenhead. Labour's industry spokesman Gordon Brown is demanding a meeting with Trade and Industry Secretary Peter Lilly over the issue. There's been a series of radioactive leaks at Sizewell A nuclear power station in Suffolk. Nuclear Electric said...